Okay, so I am back. It's quite frustrating because I have about 20 minutes worth that I can take in one shot. That's the space I have left on my camera for this, this video. And so when that's used up, I have to stop it, upload it, erase it, and move on to the next segment, which is where we're at now. So <clears throat> while I was waiting, I started doing my eyebrows and I thought, oh, I'm supposed to be doing this on video. That's the whole point of the thing. So anyway, that's why my eyebrows have magically gotten fuller and filled in. But at least that means I get to move on to something a lot more fun. And I'm not sure what I'm going to, to use. I think I'll use my yeah, do I want to use the least watch here? Yeah, I'm going to use the least watch here. And probably my finger, because for whatever reason, I just find that to be the easiest to put on. So this is just my eyeshadow primer, and it's a, a light base. I really would like to get a really dark base eyeshadow primer, because apparently deeper colors look a lot better that way. So there we're at right now. That's where we're at. I look like a bald man. I am a bald man. What can you do? So... I don't know which palette I want to use. Let's see. I've never combined the two. Maybe I will combine the two. No. I don't think so after all. I really don't think so after all. I want to put on... I still like this peach. It's like one of my favorite colors. And it's literally just says peach. Oh, can you see? Can you see? Can you see? No, you can't see. You can't see it on there. But it is this color right here, which again doesn't look very peachy, but it is. And it's fairly bright. I'm just going to get a bit of that on there. And again, I have stopped talking. Oh, that's why it's so quiet the music back on. I thought there was something missing. There's just something about having music on while you're getting ready. Makes the experience a lot more pleasant. So now I think I'm going to go in with something... brush. That's all I need is to muddy it up from something stupid like that. I wonder. I'm going to try to do something really weird. I'm going to put blue with the pink.
instead of doing overkill on it, like I tend to do with my blue, I'm just going to see if I can... Soften what's there. I think that's all I'm going to do for shadow, I think. I don't know. It's almost like it doesn't show enough. Maybe I'll go back in with a little bit more of the pink. As I throw the brush on the floor. with my lovely little brush cleaner and see if I can soften that yeah I'm not as talkative now for some reason the thing slowed down a fair bit. So for whatever reason, things have taken a turn. So one of the things I did so that I didn't keep going on with my makeup while I was waiting to upload that was I decided to roll a little something something because it's absolutely legal where I am. I'm not one of those people that advocates for it or speaks against it. It certainly has its pros and it has its cons. And I think that anybody that's using it should really give it a lot of thought because it can have different effects on one's life than what they are expecting. The one thing I find, it does tend to sap your ambition a bit. And because I have chronic back pain, I need a little bit of sapping of my ambition, but not entirely. I still have things that I need to do and things that I want to accomplish. But if I don't sap a little bit of that ambition, I keep doing things that cause me injury. So it's all a balancing act. And I do highly recommend that people not take things as it's all good or it's all bad. It has pros and cons. And if you really think about it carefully, you will be able to navigate it just fine. Because I do think it's better than alcohol and a lot of other things that are perfectly acceptable nowadays. So anyway, that's, that's my little thought on that. Not that anybody asked for it. So I'm going to see about a little liner now. Is this? I might have to sharpen that. 
always having to stop to do something else because one isn't prepared. And I really, as much as this seems like a plasticky thing, this NYX um, liner pencil, it feels really hard and plasticky on the outside, but it does, it does shave. And I don't like mine too, too pointed. And if I try to make it too pointed, it usually just breaks off anyway. But I'm gonna, I think just put it a little bit on the outside here. A little bit on the outside here. Side up here. And a little bit down here. Down here. things that I put around my eyes end up on the floor. I don't normally really curl them. So I thought, well, today we're going to, we're going to do it because why not? extra stuff off I find you don't really want all of that extra product on your wand see difference one eye to the other and then I just so I just go in and put the stuff that I just put on there I kind of put it back on and then take it off again so I'm not going in and out of the, the thing a lot. It's just the way that I've chosen to do things. I've watched a lot of different people and I don't really follow tutorials. I just, I've watched a lot of them. And then you just kind of play. And I've seen tips and tricks for things and I've tried them and some stuff works for me and some stuff doesn't work as well. And there's a lot of things I still want to try. But if I try everything at once, I don't know what actually works and what actually made things go awry. So I have a feeling I really over darkened my nose more than I needed to. Let's see, maybe, maybe if I take Are you hearing something in the hallway, Scooby? Yeah? Okay, so normally I, I wouldn't necessarily combine the two because as everybody knows, I'm really running out of this. But let's see if I put this on. Will that bring things down a bit? 
I think I'm going to do the same technique next time, but I used the darkest thing I had there. And clearly that was not what was needed. That brings it down a little bit. It also can be my lighting is just so bad because when I look at it this way, it doesn't look near as obvious, although I still have a big shiny nose. <clears throat> but soon we're going to be running out of time again, so I would like to... just finish up throw on some hair I didn't even get any different hair ready let's see what have I got what have I got what can I pull out this is not what I always pull out no oh, this isn't gonna work but I do have this hair piece that's actually human hair So that's kind of, that's kind of fun. <laughs> oh, I did blue and pink. So maybe one of these silly things will work. I don't know which way it goes. That's probably the back. That's the back. Is that the top? I don't know what the top is. That's got to be, that's got to be the top. Because it's just for the fun of it. You know, fun, fun party wigs that I got, you know, Halloween time for like two, three dollars. Just for the fun of it. This one's in better shape. I don't know if I have that on right. Seems like it should be. Maybe, maybe it's that way. Looks like that should be front and back. But maybe it's not. Maybe those are the sides. Maybe it goes this way. not really the, the hair I wanted for this look. <laughs> maybe I'll just put on, maybe I'll just throw on one of the normal, one of my regular standard bits of hair. Oh, let's just fix, fix that back up again. So there we go. This is the this is my makeup look for today. It's not it's not as dramatic as sometimes the things I do, but I'm gonna run out of time. So until the next time, take care of yourselves and each other.